Ladies and gentlemen, that's the Championship Alliance presents Wildcats episode 26. It is Eddie Mack, Marcy Andy, and Josh McLeod. Josh, I feel like I feel like we're having a sense of danger out for because once again, we're starting to show with blocks in the line. These girls have literally been out here for the past 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, jo yeah, Josh, they have been, and they've been whining, bitching, and complaining about what happened last week. Wildcats 25 when the Glocks took out Suzumi left with a bloody mess. Yeah, they've been bragging about that too ever since they came out here. <laughs> oh my god! What? I uh, said, uh, um, uh, I don't are, are they saying what I think they're saying? They want a shot at a girl. You uh, is that what? The, is that what? Is that what they said? I, I'm more focused on the other things they said. Um, <clears throat> wow. Uh, they want to face Akira for the title. I guess they, they feel like committing suicide today. Wait, well, they, wait they have demanded that every give a shot of the Wildcats title to the blocks. Give them a shot of more. Otherwise, they're going to be more... They're, otherwise, they're... Body count's going up. Somebody is. Somebody's not going home tonight. Yeah, guys, call me crazy, but um, was one of those things I said slightly was like, I'm not sure, but wasn't that slight racism there? Yes. <laughs> um, yes. This is a an episodic show, guys. Yes, I, I don't think they care though uh, right now. Do they know what's going on in this country right now? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Hang on. Yes, I do believe. Oh, I guess, I guess, I guess they're in the way because, um, we can have to move the show along. Hey, do you have a show tonight? Yeah. This is the first match of the night. A gateway to heaven qualifying match. One of the final two as Megan Van Horn, the pirate lassie, takes on Sierra Knight. Yeah, oh, Sierra Knight look, looking Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this one, guys. By the way, this by the way on this episode, these final two matches in the Gateman Evan qualifying tournament. I I literally just said that, Eddie. Less than a yeah. minute ago. I that literally just came out of my mouth. Yes, oh, he, oh, he oh, did, oh, 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 did oh, oh, Eddie. And look what you're making me doing. You're making me agree with Josh here. <laughs> Keep your eye on the ball. For real, you're well, supposed well, to be well, professional well, here. Well, if you, if you, if you excuse me for a minute, while you were saying that, I got something in my ear that I think you might want to hear, guys. Oh, boy. What? The Glocks are going to be wrestling on this show tonight. Oh, boy. I'll be facing the cure you can more, however. Okay, what's yep. going down? What's good? They'll be taking on the Hurts. Oh, oh, I'm down for that. Yeah, I got a feeling that's going to be a rocket buster. But <laughs> starting off the night with Somebody's Sierra Knight taking on Mega Van Who? Or oh, oh, oh God, I'm sorry. Mega Van Horn. Uh, Mega Van, Van, Van Horn, yes. I think she's finally made off the pirate ship. Pretend I never said that. <laughs> I feel bad now. Yeah, you gotta stop drinking way. before the show, John. I'm sorry. 
I gotta wonder where Mari is though. She's probably back plundering the seven seas. Probably. Of course, Sierra. I, 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 I still don't know how you get out like. Sierra Knight, former, former Wildcats champion, looking to get back in the hunt. These two tying up already. Yeah. Working the arm here. Yeah. Nice. Megan Van Horn, but oh wait, wait, wait. Night, night, Megan exactly. Van Horn, oh, Megan Van Horn can't seem to get going here. Sierra She's Knight. Stay away from the punches from Sierra Knight. That's one of her specialties. Yeah, I was going to say, Megan, um, Sierra's not exactly what you call a technical maven, but she can't, she can't, and she won't fight your ass. <laughs> That's right. Took the words right out of my mouth of Sierra Knight. Oh, man, they got the... the not really being technical, she just hit a nice suplex right there. Not quite sure what the type was. And in that Sorry, I've been getting, I was right? getting something in my ear then, then uh, Josh, so I couldn't correct you, but... What is it with you guys and getting stuff in your ears? Like, what yeah, the hell? I, I, Megan, Megan is, of course, the more established wrestler and has... Uh, had the experience edge in this match being part of the Van Horn wrestling family. Oh, belly to belly overhead. Oh, oh. Like Sierra Knight. Oh, but Megan already recovering and already striking Sierra into the corner, trying to get the advantage and get something going here, which seems like she is. Megan, oh, um, drag monkey flip there. Oh, no, sorry. Hip toss. Hip toss, yes, yeah, sorry. I was drinking before the show, too. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess. Of course, uh, hey, 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 at least I got an excuse. I'm Australian. <laughs> so he can make those jokes, but if Come we make on. it, okay, One, it's fine. two. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Oh, they're not clothesline. Oh. This would be a huge win for Megan if she were to get it here, defeat, you know, knocking off her former DCA Wildcat champion. She's only been in the company for about six months. Yeah, oh, uh, what do we got here? And as you mentioned, uh, Aussie Andy, uh, oh. there are, oh, wants to get back in the title picture. Yeah, and you know, once you get that taste of gold, it's very hard to <coughs> give up on it. It's like... Like that is a on very that. one of the truest statements ever said by a commentator. Nice job, Andy. Yes. You complimenting oh, me tonight, Josh. Standing. Look, I'm not feeling one, myself two. tonight. I'm going to do strange things. I'll give you a compliment, so don't get used to it. Now. I think you're just upset that Tiffany, uh, that Tiffany Clark's not on the show tonight. Because Tiffany Clark is off doing better things like making multi-million businesses. I think you believe it's a huge moonsault to the back of Sierra Knight. Nice oh, job by the young Megan Van Horn. There you go. I think she took a couple extra seconds to admire her work as she popped the sun up. And that has brought Sierra back into this thing. Yeah. Earlier on in the match, uh, Megan was working on the arm. Sierra seems to be working on the legs here. I'm curious about what this might lead to. Oh, here we go. Texas Cloverleaf. A favorite move of mine. Hey, um, Sierra's probably working on that Wolfbank ankle lap, but right now, the Texas Cloverleaf might, might be into the way now. Sierra's sitting down as Megan trying to fall yep, to the rope. Seems, oh, no, she's... Oh, she managed to get to that bottom row. Just barely. Just barely. Oh, man, a huge discus clothesline by Sierra Knight. That leg damage doesn't seem to be affecting her. No, she's not holding her own so far. Star press. Splash. She needs to keep this up. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's, a, I'm sure it's a drone, if nothing else. Once it wears off, Mega could be in a world of problem. Every world of problem, problem this year. Doing a near fall, Megan trying to quicken the pace, if you will. Yeah, will it be enough here? 
to overcome Sierra Knight. Now Sierra she's going back to the leg. Of course, the other qualifying match we have here is Amber Stevens versus Madison Lockhart. Another great match here tonight for you guys. That was the last of the Gateway to Heaven qualifying matches. The men's match is set. The women's match will be set by the end of this night. And before this night is over, we will get run down the entire card of Gateway to Heaven, which is the yeah. next show we're doing. I can run up into a pin one two. Oh, so close, so close here tonight. Oh, Bang is sweeping a leg. Drop kick to the back. Van Horn uh, looking for something here. Joining the crowd, that could be a mistake. What are you doing? Mounting up the ropes now. Drop kick right to the head. Out. And that's gonna make her ears ring. Two. Yeah. Oh, by the way, also. Oh, oh, Sierra Knight counted into that ever so Don't slow. Huh? Yeah, it took a little backbreaker. By the way, also. On this... Back to work on the leg here. By the way, also on this here episode, uh, we met um, Kane Zuka made the challenge to Sakura Hagiwara. We'll see if that challenge gets answered. On this episode, if it does, it'll be huge. Huge. Yeah, it will. Yeah. Can't wait to see the results of that. As a matter of fact, is it, that could be next. Right after this match. I believe you're right. Megan Van Horn, Sierra Knight. Second to last qualifying match. Gateway to heaven. And a wash your legs with my Van Horn. Yeah. Alright. Megan Van Horn. Getting right to that corner again. Cornering Sierra Knight. Oh, what an arm drag. Yeah, Megan's... Megan was, Megan's going, Megan's was going a little slow there. On that... Uh, before she hit that head surface, I think. There may have been some damage. May have oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Two. Oh, wow. Oh, almost three. Yeah, Eddie. It's classic here already now. Oh! What a jump. As we said, I it's the last yeah, stop. A... This is the last stop before all those big events that we've got coming up. See how going to one, two, oh, so close. And for a DDT by Van Horn. Now Moonsault, one, two. And Sierra, oh man, a big boot to the face. Sierra, obviously the stronger of these two women. It's your face. Oh, it's a pretty well kick to the face. It's wanting the crowd again. Why are you doing that? How is that gonna help you? I guess she's just trying to get the crowd behind her. It oh, looks like it's gonna pay. Do that before the match. This is, she has this coming to her. Big eyes in the corner now tonight. Look at Big bird, and here comes the leg drop. Fourth with the leg drop. Devastating leg drop from the former woman's champion herself. Oh, here and comes. now Sierra. A Choke huge slam. Choke slam. Oh, this might be it. Now wait. Me and Van Juan reversed it. Running back. Oh, power bomb. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, devastating power bomb. I can feel that myself. Yikes. That. That hurt my insides right there. So she's fighting back and Megan Van Horn. Oh, one, two. 
Got her! Wow! Oh my god! I was not expecting that result! Out of nowhere! I did not expect that from here. A huge flip from Mega Man Horn! Out of nowhere! Out of nowhere! Just like that, Megan Van Horn is in the gateway to heaven ladder match. And make no mistake, friends, Megan is a huge fan. We have the turn. Yay, Wildcat. Step so quick. Step. Thank you for joining us. Perfect. And if you found this video by accident, uh, do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yeah, and like that video and leave a comment in the comment box below with the, and with the smiley face emoji. And I'm making your way down to the ring. Kana Azuki, and I believe she's going to confront the crowd and leave some, uh, she's going to. You know, explain actions as of late. You know, she's got to be kind of stressed out as to what's going on with, you know, basically everything going on in the backstage locker room. We don't exactly have much authority going on around here. But if there was a living, living, breathing commissioner, we have like half an idea of what's going on here. Maybe, issues, maybe see? I should, maybe I should, you know, get involved with this. Maybe I should try to become commissioner. Maybe you should, maybe you you should. should Josh. Maybe you should. I would be better than that biased last commissioner we had. <laughs> He's a traitor. Well, well, her, it, well, she, she's had issues with Sayumi, Nagara, um, as of late. And last week she challenged Sakura Hagiwara. We're moments away from seeing her in ring debut, but uh, kind of. On the interruption, oh. here's a yeah. new Nagara, the miracle butterfly. Speak of the devil. Yeah, the, yeah, the former FIBA champion looking to get that belt back with lightning. Here we go. Well, this should be most What's interesting. In here? I don't know, you only need a partner for having a crisis. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, kind of a you need a partner for having a crisis. Smooth move, Mr. Professional. closest thing we have to an authority figure which is kind of sad Man, we have a match set up for tonight now. Wait, what? Wow. 
What? Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Oh, ow. Kind of soccer. Forget, forget, being, forget being on the same team. They can't even exist in the same room, much less in the same arena. Maybe this even the same team. Oh, and that's not gonna, be gonna go well. And they have to fight right now against the CFW. Oh, 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 oh. CFW. Uh, of course. As Al, Smir as Al Smirnoff, it's, yeah, there's Linda. Two-thirds the, two of the criminals of the free world along with the fever champion, Lightning. These ladies refuse to enter from the stage. Honestly, it's one of the most interesting teams we have here in the Wildcats division, guys. That's a mention one for yeah. directors. Yeah, Linda, who saw eight mile one too many times. And Alice, who of course saw Stripperella one too many times. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Well, we have ourselves an impromptu tag team match. This, I think this will be the... I believe uh, this... All right, well, as I'm sitting here with Eddie Mack and C. Carter, we have a huge match, <laughs> huge tag team match right now. Oh, Josh. Linda, a voice, kind of. She does not look like it ain't hurry to get in there. She does not want to start trading fists with Connor, with and you can't blame her. This, I, I, I believe, I may be this. wrong, but I believe this will be the, the I believe this will act as the in-ring debut. For Kane Zuka, as far as DC is concerned. I believe so. As well as the CFW. Yeah. Last time we saw them was, of course, at um, Redemption, when they, along with a crooked referee, got light in the fever title. Well, I won't exactly call the referee crooked. I will. I will. She was a crooked referee. Yeah, just a, a, a tad bent, Josh. I'd like to point out that referee had been smacked around early in the match, so I I can't blame her for committing. Referee, call want to get a little revenge, you know. Besides, if you're going to be the referee, you might as well have a little fun with your job. I'm pretty sure Lightning and Yumi wouldn't mind. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh -huh. Like I said, there was a... This well, is DCA, Josh, not the NRL. Well, I, I represent the CWA, so... <laughs> Caucasians with attitude. And, moving on... As is by Yumi. I just... I'm just watching Aussie Andy just eyeball Josh. He, he's just like... Just, it's just giving you a right now. I've gotten used to that look. I'm pretty sure every commentator I've ever commentated this got oh! Me. oh my god. Is that giving me a look once or twice. Hey, Yumi, coming in. Can I get some so payback if, if here for what happened at Redemption I dropped one, you. two. And so close. Alice. Alice, if she hadn't got in there. Yeah, I, was, I was probably three if Alice didn't get in there. And Alice said over, but Linda is the legal woman at the moment. If you, by the way, if, you, if you're just tuning in at this point in the video, first off, why? Go back and watch from the beginning. I mean, come on. Seriously. Lightning and the free, Lightning and the criminals of the free world will be taking on the Triumvirate of Kanizuka Sakura Hajiwara and Ayumi Nagara at Revenant Crisis. That's the uh, DCA SCA crossover thing. And if Ayumi defeats Lightning, she will get a championship rematch. I can't wait to happen in a stip game match of her choosing the very next night. 
Yeah, it's going to be a long week for Ayumi. If, hopefully she can get that done. If not... If not, I would have, I would, do a, I would have to assume that a rematch for the FIBA... Yeah, Ayumi will, go to the yeah Ayumi will go to the bottom of the ladder for the FIBA championship. Right now, I was just having a way with Linda, and Linda, I think she won. Yeah, now she gets it. Remember, the champions coming out of the races that did win to happen will not defend their title again until the season finale, that being Revelation. So, Ayumi will have to get it done at Revenue Crisis. And a gateway to happen, or perhaps another Springboard crossbody. Beautiful. On Linda. One, two, oh, so close. Referee a bit out of position there. That's this by Ayumi on the Linda, but again, Linda's illegal. Now all four women in the ring. Jimmy Suplex iconic. As, as I was mentioning, uh, whoever the champions are coming out of having a crisis game way to have, oh my goodness, Johnny Wizard. They will be, they're guaranteed to defend their titles at Revelation, so if Ayumi doesn't get it done at Gateway to Heaven, at Revenue Place in a Gateway to Heaven, it could be a long time before Ayumi gets another look at the Fever title, if ever. And that yeah. That'd be a uh, very upsetting for Ayumi. To try their best to make the best, uh, that title mean something here in DCA. And, and the way she got wrapped out of it, I'm sorry, it's, it still gives me hives. It, yeah. it just gives me hives. Don't worry, Eddie. I was, I, I was there oh. in the crowd, too, and I was very disappointed. Come on, she deserves to be a revelation. And you, you watching, you, you, you know this to be true. You know this to be true. Yes. All right, Eddie, sit down. Oh, Jeez. what a DDT. Get your fist out of the air. Just, sorry, just. just calm down. Moment. As wait a minute, where the hell is a Yumi going? Whoa! Oh, Jeez! God. Well, here we go. A Yumi taking Kana takes out Alice. There goes Linda. Linda goes down. And Alice. She's on the block. Alice cannot know where she is right now, and I don't think these help are going to help too much. And oh, Kana. Wait, 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 what's Arthur. Kana doing to Linda? Oh, oh, God! Oh. Ow. Ow. Josh, you know that's the hottest part of the ring. Uh, get, of get, the the get the smelly sauce for Linda. Ah, she's up and running, surprisingly. Yeah. Oh, right. that, that part of the ring, that, you'll be feeling that for a long time. You're not going to wake up feeling good, my friend. Kind of one of the fiercest strikers in all virtual wrestling analysis. Oh, beautiful out. counter. Finding out that, finding that out. Oh, wait, Yumi's come back in. And oh, there goes Linda. Taking Linda off the, the apron. Linda is going to need to get that head checked out after all the damage she's taken by being knocked off the damn apron. And she might have to, she might have to clear all concussion protocol to make it a revenue crisis. Might be setting up for a double team here. No. Oh, power slam. And, oh my god. Could it be over Get here? The poor one. Point of break. I think that's what she's trying to do, Josh. Uh, oh. Arm, back, leg, doesn't matter. That's Where not you, the right? kind of break I was talking about. And now look at these strikes. Well, sorry, but I, uh, but I don't think she's got a Kit Kat handy. Uh. Uh, oh. I was able to roll out of the way. I, I tell you what, it's going to take a lot to put kind of down, bud. Hey, you guys, no. you, know, you guys know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see Kana face Akira one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, that, that would be that, that would be a match. What can I say? It just came my mind. It's almost like that, a voice in my head say, you know what, you know, it'd be a good match, Conor. That, that, that would be a good match. You have voices in your no. your head, Josh. Uh, it just popped in. It's like a voice told me. It's like a voice in my head say, 
You know, it would be a good match. Kano versus Akira. And I guarantee it's going to happen one day. Because how can you avoid that match? Uh, Akira losing the oh, title. Hmm. And Kano getting suspended. Or fired, huh? I can't see how that... Oh. I don't see a downside in Linda. Hold wait, on, wait, man. wait. Well, look, who's at the top of the ramp, guys? That is... That is... That is... That is, that is the star sisters, Taylor and Sophia, and... Starstruck. Did and you just say the name of Zack Star's finishing move, Eddie? Oh! Armbar locked in. Armbar! Armbar! Gonna break it if she doesn't tap out soon. Linda might be dead the right here! You, me, in the ring. And Linda! Wait a minute, did she... Did she tap out? Did she tap? That's... What? That's... No, no, oh my god! Oh! Still tap! Oh! Oh my god, they're brutalized. This match was not about winning or losing. You gotta be kidding me! Star Sisters making their way to the ring. Running after the CFW, getting some revenge. Wait a minute, look out. Wait, guys, who's that? That is... That's Lightning. That, is she? that was Lightning. She just came right past us here. The champion, the future champion. What is she? Uh-oh. She's grabbing one of those seals. Shit, one of those seals. Oh! On the train. Wait a minute! Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute! That's Aqua. Wait, what the hell? What's she doing here? We won't ever see her until Roland Crisis. No, Roland. Oh, remember Sakura's? Are you being kind of part of Roland Crisis? Think. But they can't have the final win. Why, wait, 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 are you me and... Guys, Kana... Oh, but Kana's not, uh, not happy. How is this gonna work yeah. out? Ladies and gentlemen, we are back to Wildcats episode 26. We just saw a new formation made, and we got a very interesting 3-3 three three match coming up at the next mega event. But speaking of mega event, coming up next, the Gateway to Heaven qualifying match, the final one for the women's division, as Amber Stevens is going to take on Madison Lockhart in a, in a quite literal teacher versus student match, guys. Well, that's going to be interesting. Will the te teacher overcome the student or will the, the student surpass the teacher? I tell you what, this thing is the final exam, this is the final exam with stakes, if you will. And at Revenant Crisis, Madison Lockhart will team up with Cleopatra the tag team of Maybelline Wolf and Ashley Knight. It's going to be an interesting match. Yeah. That should be, that should be a quite interesting count. By the way, the votes for, by the way, you, you at home, you decide the stipulations for all the matches at Revenant Crisis, all the details on that on the DCA Facebook fan page. I've already placed my votes. As a via as the Thunder Rolls. 
huge stipulations, huge, huge, like everything, like that's going to be one of the biggest events and one of the most interactive events in DCA history, and guys, I, I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait, that should be a, that should be a, that should be a good one. The fate of the rosters, the, uh, yeah, the fate of the whole roster lies in the hands of you, the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, making her way down to the ring now, Amber Stevens, who we've not seen compete for the Wildcats since Redemption. And wow! If you want to, if you want to take wow. a better history lesson on Amber Stevens, go back to the very beginning of this season, the, to, on the season premiere when Amber Stevens was assaulted by that son of a bitch, Dante Styles, and she was out for months. And that, like, she's gone through this formation, and it looks like tonight she's back to the way she used to be. She's back to the normal Amber Amber Stevens, not the lady who hangs behind Zach Stone, the girl who whoops ass and wins and wins championships. And she's here tonight to do exactly that. If she can take out her former student Madison Lockhart. And honestly, guys, I couldn't blame her after the hell of a season that she's had. Well, she wasn't so much as. You know, hanging behind Zach as you know, she wasn't a, you know, she wasn't a, she was an emotional train wreck. She was, you know, what that, sure, that hey. Dante style did to her. I mean, yeah, but it got, it got I, I, I can, I can understand where you're coming from, but this is professional wrestling. You can't let emotional pain hurt you. you need physical pain, I understand, but you need to look past all the emotional trauma, because yes, it sucks. But it's like high school drama. You move on and you kick ass. Two things. One, Amber's neck was nearly broken. Two, Josh, Dante nearly took you out too. You, you went through the. You, you, I'm sure you can relate to what Amber went through. Of course, and I went, and I went through the physical pain. I had a concussion after that. I couldn't compete for six months. And you know what I did as soon as I could? I started training. I started training, and then I got into more leads. I got signed, and it made me a better wrestler. And you know what I want? One day, I want to do the same thing to Dante Styles. That may never happen, but at least it gives me the emotional and physical will to get there. As the same thing that's doing to Amber Stevens as she came back, and it looks like she's completely back to normal, reverted back to her, her former self, and that could be the motivation she needs to face for the Women's Championship at, at Revelations. Uh, I was just going to say, Josh, uh, Amber looks pumped, she looks ready, she looks like she uh, she's put all that stuff behind her, and is ready to rock here tonight. Ooh. Oh, Amber was the first ever Wildcats champion. But it's been almost two years since Amber's been Wildcats champion. And yeah, guys, she spent. Gotta, that's gonna wear on us. Recuperating. Yeah, that's good. That's gonna wear wear on us. She's 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 feeling starved. She's gonna. She's hungry. That's what the kid. Oh, but Madison did not miss reverse. And yes, Eddie, I do know what it's like. I I can connect. Like, I have not competed in the match in DCA since Dante attacked me. And it, it, it's, the way that can connect to Amber is that you want to foot, you want to fight, you want to push, you, you cannot give up, and you want to achieve your goal. Right now, Amber's goal is to win the Women's Championship, and I have nothing but respect for this young lady as she's pushing and doing everything it takes to get back to her former glory and forget that ever happened. It's like what Zack Stone did. When Zack Stone relinquished the Celestial Championship, he moved on to greater things. Yeah. Mm. And now he's and now he's a shot to face the world champion, whoever he may be at Revelations. He may have that opportunity. But he's got to win that gateway to heaven match first. And oh! No. And I'm sure Emma wants to. I'm sure Emma wants to join him on that night. You know, I, I'm very excited for that night. It's one of, honestly, the gateway to having a lot of matches is probably my favorite match of the season, and you have, and I hope you guys understand why. Oh yeah. Uh, after what happened uh, the last this gateway is... to heaven, oh, I can't wait to see what happens this time around. Dude, 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 
dude, dude. I, I just got, dude. I just got something in my head. Something just popped in my head right now. Okay. Amber dude, Zach. Dude, dude, dude. End the season. Amber Zach end the season as Wildcats and World Heavyweight Champion. Um, so I couldn't think yeah. of a better fairy tale ending. However, remember, there's always going to be something next, and they're going to move on to bigger and better all, things as time goes on, and that would be a great ending to this year's revelation. Well, I, I hate to tell you guys, but that will, I think that's all it's going to be, guys, the fairy tale. Akira is filling a huge role. I think she's destined to be a, the new next uh, Who do you think you reigning, are? Uh, uh, the bad guy here. The longest reigning... Uh, Lois oh, reigning oh. Wildcats champ, uh, champion. Oh. Uh, she's been on a roll. <coughs> oh, and I, I, I think she, I think it's going to be tough for anyone to get overcome that vicious, vicious streak of hers. Hey, oh, Reese, they, 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 they got to kill here. And, um, that's, not put, uh, that's not saying I approve of everything she's done. But, uh, guys, I just see it happening. Oh, well. Let's not look past Danny Demons. I mean, if anyone can overcome. Look at this Anaconda kind of Vice by Amber. Overcome Akira Yukimura. It's Danny Demons. She is tough as hell. She's won pretty much everywhere she's at. Oh, that's heel hook now by Amber. Oh, man. She is. Pulling on that leg. And what up? Hey, what if the clocks get a title match? I mean, they, they actually... Don't won. say that. No, <laughs> I could not imagine. Like, what if one of them wins the title and the other wants it? We could see a Glock face a Glock. They'd have to... I, 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 I they would have to that. call that event live from the loony bin. I swear to God. We'd be, we'd be, we'd be performing well, live from a mosh pit, probably. They, they, they said they both would be champs, so, you know, who knows, maybe they... That's not how it works. They, they can defend it under the free bird rule. Uh, and look, it's I, a I, world I, championship. I it. It, you cannot defend yeah, a world Josh, championship. Josh, I get, I, I, Josh, I get, I get, I get it. But are you going to tell the Glocks no the way they've been acting as of late? Or are you going to tell them no? Oh, my God. God. Mega Driver, five... And to answer your question, no, I've dealt with crazy chicks before in the past, and I nearly got my eyes clawed out. I would do it over, like, via satellite or Skype. At least if I was for that, it's not my job. I mean, they said they're both going to be the champ. They're both going to be the champ. I mean, I'm not going to tell them no. There's no living breathing commissioner to tell them no. What Damn, but just feeding Madison's face in. <laughs> oh. That was the final exam hurt so much, right? Hey, 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 hey. You guys, that main event, Love Hurts versus the Glocks, that's next. Well, I, I'm, I, I'll be honest, I, Love Hurts is one of my favorite tag teams, but uh, I, I'm kind of a little afraid for them right now. Considering what the Glocks have been through lately, as I, where the Glocks have been at, right? I, I love love hurts. They're honestly and oh, oh, oh my god, super kick! I was going to talk to kick out, but honestly, love hurts is like I, I'm worried for them. Yeah, I love those two. They were two of the best wrestlers in brought in the Wildcats division. They're gonna die. As uh, any of the Glocks are gonna destroy it. Got a huge discus clothesline. I would we still have yet to hear an answer yeah, from man. Akira Yukimura as to. Oh, yeah, Amber rushes One, in. Two. Like, Madison, One, two. Oh, Jamie's head. One, two. Air fall. I, I gotta be honest, I don't think I saw Akira's not Eddie. I don't think I saw, saw her anywhere in the back tonight. Uh, so she might not even be here tonight, guys. Uh, I don't, I don't recall seeing her. I think she's preparing for her upcoming matches. For Danny Gibbons, I, 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 I can see that, but 
if that's the case, then uh, yeah. Lovers gonna have oh, he's gonna have a bad time and what a neck breaker by Madison. And Madison Lockhart, wanting Amber to get up here. Amber coming back with those vicious strikes. Oh, kicks black though. And Madison with the kick of her own to the midsection. Oh, Amber just blocked it. No. Showing that experience Amber's edge. Like, got over Madison. No. Oh. Here we go. Trying again. Drop kick to the face. This one, Another this one. one. And neck breaker. Alright, here we go. Nikki Nevercure, by the way, her fellow dynasty mates will defend the tag titles in the crisis. I guess. Shall we do the Lord of Vino? And there's the big boss of my lock part. Two! No! Not quite Was enough. Not quite okay, enough. Eddie. Small package, small package. One, two. Therefore. Oh, kick to the gut. Oh my god, a huge European uppercut. Everyone's <laughs> gonna think about it, and I cannot blame him. Oh, oh god. God, Eddie, we can't get a word in ed edgewise tonight. Oh, Someone trap suplex. Oh my goodness. And remember, the dynasty screwed over the Glocks at Redemption. Another and trap the dynasty. Like... Yeah, I have to... Oh, my God. That's one of the few of the situations in which I will defend the Glocks. I mean, it is basically le what led to what the Glocks have become as of late. I don't like where this is going, Eddie. I don't like this at all. What if, what if they both get counted out here, guys? What if uh, they're what if that standing happens? on pure, yeah, con pure concrete? Oh, they, some, they, they, some they, trouble. Someone is in big, big Referee's trouble, guys. Counting. Oh no. Oh, no. oh god, children, cover your eyes. Oh my god, a huge lockdown heat of the face. And then I, it probably didn't help much to land on that concrete. That's what you're doing, getting the ring. It, it... Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think someone's coming down. Uh, what the hell? Maybelline Wolf. Oh. oh my God! Head first into the post. The referee, the referee was dealing with Amber. Amber doesn't even know what happened. What's up? Amber's well, up and Amber's Madison, up. She's Amber's taking it to a student. She didn't see anything that just happened. She's just taking advantage of the situation. That's not a bad thing. No, Josh, that's not knockout punch. Oh, my God. Lord. He's going to be eating out of a straw for the next week. Lord, tell someone call, someone call Madison's next to Kim and let her know that she is strapped. Probably not going to be Koji Clutch. Koji Clutch. That's, that's going to be that's gonna be it, I think. That's, uh, that's got to be it, guys. This is going to be still, it. I, I don't this. think she's going to tap out. I don't think she can, but it looks like she's fading a little bit. Yeah, uh -oh. she could be out, guys. She could be out. I think the referee might want to use his discretion here and ring the bell here. Ring the bell? No. I'm pretty sure it's already happening now. And the ref is calling it. Ref called it. Jessica Lewis. There's a lot of art. There is not that bad. And Jessica had to, was forced to end the match. And thanks to Maybelline Wolf, it is Amber Stevens that gets the final shot in the gateway to the Heaven Ladder match. I mean, guys, yeah. let's face it, Amber Stevens was not going to let go of that Koji clutch. No, she uh, she wants that belt back.
Welcome back to the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just a few days away from Gateway to Heaven, and I am excited. I know you're excited. We have a huge card. The card is stacked from top to bottom, and I'm about to go over here. Let's take a look at it. As the DCA Tag Team Championship is on the line, the Blade Runners, former champions, the longest reigning champions, will take on the real wrestling throwbacks. And do not forget the Gateway to Heaven ladder match. It's a takedown ladder match. We'll feature Zach Stone, Joshua Smith, the Karu, Bradley Rounds, Anthony Lewis, and Jordan Collins. Speaking of Wildcats, the championship will be on the line as Akira Yukimura defends against Danny Gibbons. So much is on the line this match. Akira defends against Danny. We'll see what happens here. All this will come to an end. And the DCA World Headquake Championship is on the line as the monster, the destroyer, AC Gordon, the young gun smoke with Atlas Jones will be the special guest. Referee Smoke has been very controversial lately. We'll find out what happens as that match goes on. Gateway to Heaven, the final mega event before Revelation 2, the final act, coming soon only on Hitbox.tv and eventually on YouTube. What a card it is shaping up to be. You are not kidding. That it is going to be lit, as the kids would say. What did you just say? It's going to be lit. What? It's going to be lit, man. Come on, All right, come, come on. Just... Here we go. We got the blocks coming out, guys. I don't think Eddie's ever going to forgive oh. me for that. That's the Glocks making their way on the ring for the main event of the evening. The main event of the evening. The countdown to, to the countdown to millennium has started. We'll see you soon, Hakeem. Oh, you'll be back in one of these shows sooner or later. Probably your. I'm guessing Revelations. Oh. It better be. The Glocks have sure a. Than that, what? I hope it's sooner than that, like get where to happen. Yeah, okay, that'd be nice. Yeah. Anyway, Maybe the Glocks! Man. Maybe if Pyro can't make it, he'll be the secret entrant. Wait, 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 wait guys, wait! What? What? Wait, 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 Oh no. That is a cure Yukimura theme music. Yes it is. Oh, I didn't even see her here. Like I said earlier, I didn't see her here tonight. She must have been I, hiding somewhere. I didn't see her here. And usually everyone's coming to see me, so I'm surprised. Akira making her way down. Oh god. This, this is bad. This no, is bad. there's still oh. no way to take on both the Glocks. I don't care what, but what condition they're in. She's two on one. And they're the fucking Glocks, like, let's face it. This is a good point. But she's holding her own so far. Well, of, well, of course she is! They it's were the out. They out. were knocked out by the Dynasty. Oh. Come on. Two on one. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, if you're, if you're two on... If it's two, two, two people that are knocked out, and you're, you're a lot... You're Have conscious... You it doesn't matter. Yeah. Ah. It's Josh. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, God. Right on the head. Remember what happened last time? It was a yeah. two on one against Suzumi, Akira's younger sister. They left on a bloody oh. fence. This oh, is God. rage. This is yeah. anger. This is a side of Akira that we've never seen before. No, no, Josh. This is a side of Akira that. This is the only oh, side geez, of Akira. Oh right to the head. Come on. It no, no, is guys, this, this, is the only, this is the only side of a cure we've seen in the last eight months. Yeah, that's no, no. an emergence, guys. This is something new. This is anger. This is just a <laughs> pissed off. You don't oh, mess God, with what? Oh, that looks super like especially a younger sibling. 
Yeah. You gotta have known that she was playing payback. For once. I never thought I would say this, but I'm fully behind Akira. I oh. can't. She's fighting for a oh, Josh, she's taking it way too far here. What? I know oh, what they did the to us. Too far when they left left Suzumi in a but bloody the clocks went too far. As far as I'm concerned, if she can keep this up, it's justified. Oh. Oh. In fact, I mean, I, I feel bad for Akira. I do too, Josh, but come on, this is taking it to a whole nother level. Do you even know who the Glocks are, dude? I'll admit. I respect that they're fighting they're fighting against the dynasty, but you don't do that to a human being. There are some lines. And, and, and yet you Oh Terra able to hold us up Terra able to hold us up five for one was gonna be certain disaster there, but Roxy, I'm sorry. She's on she's on Roxy. Oh my god! God, that chair. I, she was oh. telling Roxy's mind. I was just telling oh. the same thing. I remember. I remember what happened in Emergence, guys. And and we're getting a, we're getting a repeat performance here. Uh, this isn't good. Except this time it's two on one. Yeah, and it's almost as bad. Oh, oh God. Get, you could have a concussion by now. I, I think they both do. Here. You know, this I, is one I, I of the think we're going to see the gloss for a long time after this, guys. This is one of the most valiant things I've ever seen in my days of commentating. Valiant? What do you... You? She is taking out one of the viruses of the Wildcats division. Are you even... Oh, my God! Oh, God! Like... Oh, oh, my God! Lord. She is seeing Vanessa Price in the glass right now. Josh, I think it's time you hand over the bomb, man. I think it's time you hand over the bomb. This is honestly... Ah. Jesus! Would, oh, it, would I look at try to attempt to do this to the Glocks? Look, I applaud this effort. I get my... Oh, my yeah. Family, I get all that. But enough is enough. Oh. Drag is bad. Clock, the Glock should... If the, if the Glocks had learned enough was enough against Suzumi, this would never have happened. Plus the racist jokes were kind of a little too far. Whoa, whoa wait a minute! A two-on-one handicap match! I can't believe, but I can't agree with Envy more. I'm not siding with the Dynasty, but you don't mess with someone's family like that. This is what happens, and there's nothing that's going to stop her. Well, the Glocks have gotten their match, but... At what price? And speaking of Vanessa Price, we haven't seen her in six oh. months. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. So it's good. It's Unlike Vanessa Price, this is earned. So that match, guys, is set. Hey guys, I think Akira can do it. I think she can defeat the Glocks in a handicap match. Well, after the way they've been left, it's, it's not going to be hard. I wouldn't be surprised if that, that match takes place from a hospital bed. It's the Black Coast Secure Yuka Moore and the winner against Danny Kim the next night against the 